Folks, this might be the fastest video I've ever made. I made a Reddit post on RMAC Gaming because I saw a bunch of people already had tested, like the main reviewers, Cyberpunk Native. They posted some of their screenshots or benchmarks. Uh, obviously, it didn't have probably Metal FX on or whatnot. So I decided to just test it in crossovers. Got blasted. People said, test the native version. You're wrong. So I used my bandwidth and my hard drive space to actually test it. And of course, I was wrong in typical Glenn Logic Tech fashion. I'm not going to bore you with watching the whole details. It's going to be at the end of the video for those who want to see the graphical fatality. But you can see here we get 87 frames per second. If you go on my Reddit post, it's actually 91. And I think the degradation is due to the quick time recording. Um, so a three, per, a three FPS loss. Here we turn on ray tracing with Psycho. This is, of course, running at the resolution it shows on the top right, which is half retina resolution. I think 1512 by 945, you see there. With Metal FX on, it tells you what the scaling factor is, and then AMD FSR is on. On the crossover version, it tells you that there's frame generation, which is Metal FX frame generation. So here on ray tracing, you get 45 frames per second. So with all that said, it turns out that native is still the way to go, though uh, people in the comments were saying that in the crossover version, which is the Windows version, you do get Metal FX and you could cho choose the Transformer model, which might have better um, quality. I'm not that great of a reviewer to actually notice the details and try to analyze that for you. Uh, maybe if I get enough comments or enough people ask, I can just post the raw video and people could do the analysis themselves. But likewise, what I'm showcasing here is the um ultra settings at as you can see here metal fx is on so it's at 512 but then it's on the quality settings um and then later in this video at the very end of the video if i'm still talking oh my, my, my son's trying to stand up on me I'm, I'm trying to make these videos as a new time dad you can hear him babble like just what, 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 what do you guys say what do you guys say about the new m5 macbook pro oh he's he's he's, he's using the keyboard he's he's actually he's he's editing this video as we speak uh all this to say folks um yeah, I mean, I think the M5 is good. I think when I tested this on the M1 Max, it was, uh, I don't remember what the settings were. I think similar frame rates, if not. So we're getting almost the same uh, M1 Max. If you're coming from an M1 machine, might be, you know, and maybe you're coming from an M1 machine and your, your needs have changed, but you still do some like gaming. This base model might be kind of worth the trade in. Um, here you can see actually in the frame interval hitting a lot of red. Uh, I'm, I'm actually currently editing another video, I believe, and I was showcasing in Oblivion um, that there's a lot of swap memory used. So if you're using up hard drive or worried about that, you might want to consider bumping up to the 24 gigabytes RAM or something of that nature if your use case doesn't involve playing games. Uh, with that said, this is the base model. I think, you know, if some people don't really care about that, I mean, honestly, in my opinion, going to base model i think you should always get the pro version or the max version pro is like the sweet spot so i would wait for the m5 pro or wait for the m5 macbook air if you're on the fence and haven't had the machine yet i honestly considered swapping to the m4 macbook air compared to the m1 max because it was faster but to be honest my daily driver now is the 600 dollars snapdragon x elite machine that i got because honestly the only game i play is dota and similar to the gains i got from macbook um, this just runs really fast. It just runs really fast like a MacBook. So um, I made some reviews on that. If you want to check it out, I'm going to be testing out when the new Snapdragon X Elite comes out. And uh, someone asked me if I'm going to test a new Intel. I might, but it's obviously not out yet. Anyways, quick video. See you guys in the comments or on Reddit. Later.